Hello and welcome to Emergency 4. If I press this button, you shall see the game and everything should hopefully look alright and everything. Hang on a second, I've had to do some trickery as you can probably see that some things are cut off and all that. So I just need to quickly check that everything looks okay on stream because I don't really know how to test a stream without going public and I'm just, you know, a bit of an idiot when it comes to that. So hopefully... Yeah, it looks about right as far as I can see. Uh, it's very professional. I've just used my iPad. Quality work by me. So we're going in. I've just done a bit of prep work here. Played about 15 minutes-ish on a free play game with Beaver, Beaverfelder modification. Sorry, I was going with the English translation I've done in my head, which is very wrong. We have a couple of calls going on. We have here, we've got a pickpocketer who's been nicked by my officers. Good job to them. We'll get them transported, get the police back out on patrol. Yeah, here we go, can send the bike officer back out. Up here we've got a little bit of a smash going on. We've closed one lane, which is sure to mess up traffic. Oh, yes, look at that. Oh, and now we've got a building on fire. The man is telling us there is a building on fire, but we need to delete all traffic first, which I can helpfully do using this debug thing. That thing there should hopefully have... Yes, look at it. Beautiful traffic has been fixed. Building on fire due to electric... Oh, yes, it's greenhouse. That's not great. We'll do a... Oh, no, we won't do a half train. We'll do a full formation, seeing as it is a building on fire. Tow truck should be arriving up here by the traffic crash. We're keeping these on scene in case there's some oil spillage and whatnot. But, um... Um... Mate, you do know you're driving in the wrong direction, and we won't ask questions about that. Here we go. Everybody's pulling out. Ready to go. It's a very short drive. Get them with a B8 on immediately. And here we go. Apparently you guys are all waiting nice and orderly for everything to figure itself out. There we go. Sirens are working here. We just had to go too short to actually get that working. We'll park up the incident commander over here. Bring you away. We need to grab you. Bring you in here. We may have to... Quick no, no, he'll drive in here. Lovely. So incident commander drives right in here, parking at the side. Oh, you won't get out because I told you to put on your breathing apparatus and masky thingies. That's okay. Safety comes first when it comes to firefighting. And there we go. We'll set up another two with their breathing apparatus on. You will immediately deploy out with fire hoses. You'll prepare. You'll be the lone one with that. You'll be the driver, Pomb Operator. To connect you up here, we'll connect up a hydrant immediately as we'll go through the onboard water very quickly as it's already spreading. You need to man that, please. Thank you. Run down here, deploy your distributor, I think is a technical term for that. Just a splitty water thingy that does splitting of water so many more firemen than one can put water on the fire, which is very useful. I like having more than a fireman working on a fire. It sort of gives me comfort knowing that more men are trying to put out the big fire that's going on. But they're not willing to because he didn't actually put on the pomp operator. Yeah, he's a bit lazy. It's Tuesday for him too. He's just had a weekend. It's very rough. Besides, he's also a fireman. And you know how they go. Usually a bit hit and miss with them. We deploy you in here with the ladder. Just keep you in back up just in case we need more manpower. It is spreading a bit down here, so get you running down and try and like, stop that fire. You need to focus on that fire. What about the traffic smash? That has been sorted. No oil spill it, so everybody can go back home for tea and biscuits. And we can go ahead and open up the inside lane again on the motorway, which will surely mess up traffic once more. But we have the magic button that deletes. Oh dear, we now have a severe heart attack going on. And that's not great. We've got a doctor car here. That'll be what we use. Do we have a ambulance? Oh, we have an ambulance up here to so get you rolling down here. That's pretty critical. Fire-wise, we are still on fire. And it's now spreading into the neighbouring garden. So we have to step up this here. You will need to prepare a second group of firefighters. You guys put on your breathing apparatus from your ladder. And you will then immediately deploy in and have a bit more fun. So run down here now that we hook this up. These people will get some hydrants. Not hydrants, hoses. Both start with H. Very similar words. Very difficult for me to figure out. And uh, he's actually in here. So we'll get them running along here. Deploy your distributor. 
Thank you. You will go back up and grab a fire hose. No, no, in there. Put water on the warm bit, please. That's really what you need to do. You're hooking up here. You guys need to also get in here. We need to stop the spreading. We need to stop the fire from spreading. First of all, contain, then fight. That's sort of what we do. It's sort of the same thing with counterinsurgency. You cordon and you search and then you smash everybody who's inside. Basically, that's what you do. So here we go. This is looking okay for now. We've got about six lines going, which should be pushing this vehicle to the limit. Or not really. No, doing quite nicely. And I think it's doing nicely because I haven't actually put the ladder up yet. Oh, hello. People up here at the severe heart attack. That's probably an important thing to deal with. I think if you're in the emergency services, severe heart attacks is pretty high up on the list of things to deal with quite urgently. A doctor man coming in here, checking out the patient. Ooh, that was right in the nick of time, wasn't it? He's very, very nearly dead of a heart problem. And we can't have that because according to this game, you must save everyone. You can't let anyone die. That's, you know, that's not how the real work works. In real life, you, you know, everybody survives. They don't, but, you know, it's a game and all that. Why have you gone over there? See, this is a problem with the firemen. They're a bit stupid. They've decided to become firemen because... Oh, now we've got a traffic accident. Oh, no, it's it's that massive fuck-off traffic accident that I know quite well. So we'll get the northern station going in for that. Do we have a doctor unit down here? We've got three ambulances. We'll get everybody rolling from station south ambulance. Up here we've got... Uh, that's not even a police officer. Out here we go. We need to start redirecting traffic. This is a major incident. We've got one, two, three, four cars involved. We need medical attention for all four sections up here. So redirect traffic. We need to sanitize the area. We need to create a safe working environment for all our emergency services. So turn the motorbike around. Uh, probably we need to get into the patrol vehicle here, your minibus. Because bloody hell, why wouldn't you use a minibus to do police work? Hurry up! Have some urgency! There's a massive traffic accident involving many dead people and other things as well. You've just gone round! You are a rubbish... Well, you are technically driving a Mini Cooper, so that would explain everything. So rush in here. We'll park up the ambulances over here. Get you parked facing that way. Hopefully the fire service is arriving here shortly. So get you all parked up down here. We should have enough at the very least to start treating. Some of these ambulances might end up doing time pretty much just servicing everybody who's in you bring you lot in here no no don't block him in that's the bloody major big appliance thing that you need to not block please thank you here we go you need to turn around that mini because the mini is an idiot because you know it's a mini that's not turning around you dick what about the golf that's in here i mean he's gonna struggle but I, yeah okay you work it out that's fine so we now need to get started here. Put on your blues, mate. Uh, you need to get your jewels of cutting equipment. You get a fire extinguisher just in case you know the vehicle catches fire. That's not great if you're trying to get somebody out of a vehicle and that vehicle catches fire. Whoops, wrong button. I didn't want you to put on your breathing masks. I just need you to get all this done. We'll put on some scene lighting, please. Turn it around. Start with the vehicle over here. Who are you? You are over here. We'll get you started. Get everybody out of your medical vehicles. You will immediately grab your treatment bags for everybody who's involved. We can always get them out of that later on out here. You can see that patient there. It doesn't really do anything, but it's certainly nice. We just have a look in there going, Are you still alive there, miss? Or, sir? We don't really know. We can't see in there. Reanimation, that, you know, means they're trying to revive them. Reese's in English, which is not great. We'll get more spotlight going onto the scene, given the fact that, we, you know, there's a lot of problems here really with lots of cars crashing and that meanwhile we can swap back up here to our little yeah. Indian party he's ready to go uh we'll get you sorted out here fire wise we are out fire is out good news we have put out a bit of a fire using a lot of more resources than i would think would be necessary however that frees up an ambulance so we can send that one up here to our massive accident up here, nobody's been freed from their vehicle just yet, but we have medical crews on standby at every vehicle. Here we go, the first ones are out. Get on that guy. You get on that guy. You start cutting out that vehicle over here. Now, I know you can't get them stabilised by yourself, but you'll just have to hold them where you are. But technically, you can stabilise them. That's the only thing you can do. You can't make them transportable. You're ready here. You're the ambulance going. We need to sort out this down here. Please disconnect 
And now comes a tricky game of remembering who's from what vehicle. Oh, and you're not ready, actually. So see here, can you... No, so you're from the wrong vehicle. What about you? You're from the wrong vehicle. Are we going to go with the last one's obviously the one? Yes, indeed, the last one is always the right person. That's how that works. You should all be from this vehicle, so that should work out okay. So we can send home the ladder of plants, and we can get the pump operator to disconnect the hose just to speed everything up a bit. Uh, up here, you picked up the patient, load them on board. Oh, no, that's an intensive care patient, so we need to get you rolling in the ambulance with the doctor on board. So off you go, please. Hard on the brass bandery. Uh, here you're holding them alive. You're here, you're here, you're here, you're ready to go. You are pretty much stable, so we can swap you out up here. And we can get the emergency doctor, who unfortunately just dropped somebody off in a pool of a lot very nice things. Uh, ambulances, ambulances, ambulances. Doctor car just returned on an out of area patient transfer. That was quite critical. Not really ideal over here. Nobody else has been cut out over here. So we now need to get working on the oil spill. Rhesus is going on over here on this patient. Yeah, we've got one fatality. Now, I like to roleplay a bit. Grab then the unmarked car. That'll be our, you know, CID investigators that comes out here and has a look and go, Oh yeah, mate, shit's fuck yo. And does, like, all of the police investigating, because that's what policemen do at these things. So we have saved at least some of them, and that's okay. We can begin to grab stretches. We don't need any more ambulances. We've got enough. We've got one deceased down here. You've now decided that that person is dead. So you can now swap out here as the unmarked patrol vehicle arrives. You can go ahead and return your cutting equipment. We've only got the uh, combi cutter here. We don't have the full set of equipment. Now, do we want to be rude and deploy our little uh, kitty litter oil absorbent right on top of the injured party? No, we'll wait until they have been made uh, transportable, which will take a while. But we are ready here. We'll get you transporting this party. So this person has now been declared dead by the doctor man. And that's a good news. That means the doctor can go back to try and stabilize that patient. That is the right party over here. They're now running. Oh, oh no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. That person is being kept alive by medical crews. So could you please try and sort that out, if you would. Uh, so we do need another doctor unit up here. But one has thankfully just freed up from our severe heart attack. Get them rolling. We could then grab the unmarked patrol. We could just park it off the side here. What are we doing in terms of hospital bed numbers up here? Yeah, we've got four intensive, five normal. Already we're feeling a bit pressured on that front, and that's critical here. That's partly why I wanted to play a few minutes before you guys started watching. Uh, pretty quickly you end up running out of medical beds in the hospital. Medical beds in the hospital, are there any other type of beds? Bloody hell, there's a cannon on telly. Anyway, that doesn't matter. I need to... Somebody's had a moment in here. Uh... Available ambulance, available ambulance. Oh, that's the... Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Um, that's the information. Okay, so uh, what we need to do here is request assistance outside. Grab you. We can't really transport. Oh, hang on. That's the wrong place. That's up in the building, isn't it? Anyway, we'll have to grab this one out here, which is technically for the firefighting responses. But we'll have to just quickly borrow that. Although, yeah, we have to because that one's not available for calls right now and we need all of the ambulances that are staged up here. So load you into the... Oh, God, yeah, okay, so you're now working over here. That'll definitely be intensive care. Are you intensive care? No, you can go to hospital. Great. So that's one person there that can go to hospital without further need. You need a doctor on board. So we'll put you on with a light. So, and you certainly will also need to transport out here. So we will need to call in another doctor from out of town. Oh, no, wait, I called them in here. Whoops. See, that's why we don't jump to conclusions, because I already sorted that out. It does mean that the person transported can now clear up after that little bit of an accident. And here, and we have an ambulance on scene here. They will commence treatment. They won't transport. They're technically for the fire service. They're there to provide a backing for the fire service, should they need it on a call. They might get injured. Firemen do get injured sometimes, because, you know, they're fighting a fucking fire. Um... It's not where I thought it was, strictly speaking. Oh, no, it's out there on the street. I overthought it is what I've done. But we've got the units coming in down here to assist. And indeed, they're now declaring that the person is... Oh, boy. That was right last minute to get you rolling off. Up here, we are ready for transport. Get you picked up here. 
We also need the police to start sorting out whatever the bloody hell they need to do up here. Get vehicle cleared out from this scene. Uh, constable here, pick up that thing. Run over here, declare that person as ready for the medical people to transport away. Technically that is the undertaker because that's how the game works. It, it may up, but whatever. Get another tow truck for you. And finally a tow truck for you. That should hopefully help clear up everything. Dramatic music is playing rioting civilian are we right up there by the train and the nearest unit is a motorbike officer and we got a patrol car down here so we'll get the motorbike officer going first in how is everyone by the way hope you're all having a lovely day hope you've had a lovely spring day if you're in europe hope you're having a lovely spring day if you are not in europe where is this violent person with a gun we failed the traffic accident Oh no, the woman up here, so that's a bit icky, and we failed that for some reason, don't know why, presumably somebody died and the game doesn't like it when people die. Off you go then to hospital, no need for bells and whistles. We cleared up, I think, all of the messes, we can turn off the roof lights and it's getting daytime. Probably why we failed, it's now daytime, we started it at night. Over here we have ambulances turning up and everything, having a lovely little party in the street with many, many ambulances needed. As well as a doctor unit in a Merg G-Wagon, because, you know, you've got a ball of these for doctors in Germany. Fictional Germany, by the way, this is not a real town. I've also just realised that I forgot to bring my bloody glass of water to my computer. So, sorry for the moment of dead air as I go find it. So that was probably very echoey. Back we go. How are we doing here? Getting revived up by the smash. Yep, everything's get. Oh, they can't actually get to the uh, people, can they? You're up to transport that. Everybody's now ready to go back. So you guys can clear out and allow in the tow trucks. You can transport that vehicle. We have one vehicle coming in here. You will just transport that thing. Oh dear, I forgot to tell them to redirect traffic down here. That is a problem, and that is a fellow patrol vehicle. So sort that out by uh, technically just bringing it around to so sort you out here uh, medical people over here how are you doing doing better they're recovering up here have we technically arrested this person who's been punching people i don't know where is that person oh yeah we have it's a bit weird when it comes to those platforms they're sort of teleported over you are available up here oh we need two ambulances oh bloody hell so you go off here. Do we, we got one available over here. So get you rolling up here to transport these people that were injured by the assailant. Over here we have what? Fire. Where? I'm not seeing the fire. If I'm honest, you're showing me fire on the mini-map. Where is that fire? Is it underneath the overpass? No, no, it's in a tree over there. Righto, so we will get the northern station rolling out here. Uh, we have one ambulance arrived up here. Oh, now, I don't like that. That's not neatly parked, is it? So get on board. Park over here for me. Thank you. Have they... They're moving the assailant around for the patrol vehicle. One person will grab a treatment bag and rush over to the first victim over here. As you are arriving here, you guys are... Oh, I've made a whoopsie and a half. Um, so we've got a ladder here. Oh, no. Oh, no. And now... Oh, great. It's all happening now. So they've gone off to deal with a mine of fire, which, uh, frankly, um, uh, we... Uh, shite. Okay, think quickly. Think quickly over here. You, you. Off here we go immediately. We've got a major incident going on here. We have got a hazmat situation. Hazmat equipment is leaking out. And uh, we will have to reroute over here. What we need to do is grab this pump appliance. Get that one rolling over there. We have to divert units now. We now have to grab you. You are our decon unit over here. We need to set up quite far away. I've experienced this before. Am I wrong for hearing shots being fired in this area? Anyway, we'll go ahead and grab you. You are technically belonging to this station up here. So you will also respond up here. You are now arriving. I told you lot, you needed to go over here. You've been redirected. Do you understand? So block off up here at this junction. We need to get moving here pretty sharpish. Get these two constables to block off all civilian foot traffic. 
down here we will need to drop off unfortunately one police constable who may get uh, affected here down here we have another patrol vehicle we'll get you turned around here out on foot immediately we need to secure the area we need to create a safe working area for our crews and for the civilians that live and work in the area get you lot out um we need to get one officer around here redirect traffic uh, we also need one officer here to actually turn people back in case some of the contaminated parties will be leaving out here. So you lot actually need to get in here. We need to swing this car around, get you guys up here as fast as possible. Uh, what's also more important is we need to grab down here. We need to grab these vehicles up here, get them rolling. We need to grab the second vehicle over here, one of these hook lifty thingies. Grab you. Come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. We need to pick up this one right over here. Once you've done that, we'll send up both of those units. Meanwhile, at the fire, we have got these two vehicles arriving. Uh, it's not really a massive issue, this. We will quickly need to get some of you out. Uh, here, we'll need to grab four of you. You need to put on BAs pretty quickly. Run down here. Traffic crash has been sorted. You can return on patrol. You guys will need to go back to the station, write a report. Over here, we have injured party, ready for transport. Pick you up. That's technically the wrong ambulance, so uh, we'll need to sort that out. Uh, I can't really mess with that. I don't like messing with it. It's a bit of role playing, nonetheless. But it's there, and I like doing it to get you going here. I'll grab a quick drink. Load everybody into the ambulance. Intensive care patient to get the doctor on board. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. We have lots of things to do. Yeah, go off. You don't need a brass band uh, down here. Are you? You are ready to go now. Great. So grab you, grab you, grab you. Uh, we need to get everybody rolling up here. Everybody now, technically, in terms of the police, need to go back to the station. These people have put on their BAs. Get you back on board. We need to position you correctly, which I guess will be literally just on the on-ramp here because we need access to water. So park you here. That's as good as it gets. Grab fire hoses. I mean, you can technically also grab a fire hose if you'd like. Please hurry up. Grab a fire hose. Attach it over there. You attach a fire hose to the vehicle, the set it up as far down. The fire is reasonably contained here. Traffic is backed up for reasons unknown. Doesn't matter, don't care. We are bigger. Oh, God, we also have the incident up there to deal with, don't we? So deploy you out here, you. Hook up here. Hook up to that. As soon as this is done, this guy here without a breathing apparatus can go on here. This is okay. Get you guys going on this. You guys need to focus primarily on what's going on over here. You guys are arriving up here, so let's sort this out first. Get you going over here with this thing. It should be another IP up here, but I can't see them. Oh, there you go. I can technically just see them here. We now have this incident down here that we need to deal with. We've opened this up out here. Stop getting stuck, if you would. Uh, we need to grab you, park you over here. Technically blocking that, but whatever. You have arrived up here. This is a very important unit for us. This has all of the uh, sort of hazmat suits on board. So we will need to bring this over here. Technically, the firefighting crews are not needed for firefighting. So we can park over here. We can grab a U2, put on a BA. We only get two of those hazmat suits. So that is our primary function right here. Get you parked over here. Plug that down here. Yeah, I know you can't really do that, but you're just going to have to bloody hold it as it is right now. You are ready for transport to get you rolling here. Where's this rub? You have arrived. So we need you in here. You bring very vital pieces of kit. So technically I want him in first. You put on your breathing mask. So we'll get you onto the chemical protective suits. Right over here. So you've now pulled through. We will park you alongside the pump appliance over here. Uh, what we also need to do is grab the LNA. Just get the Leiden and Nord Arts involved. You haven't actually bloody responded, and I need you up here. You are very important for what we're going to do. Technically, we are all awaiting here. Deploy out our little place here, a tent. Uh, okay, we need to shift this around, because technically this isn't really going to work. Get you on board. This is a good position for this, but it needs to move. We need to get the pumper plant in a different position. Uh, we want to get it up here behind all of this, technically. Bring you in here. Now we can bring you back up to... Here, turn you around. The issue with all of this, get you built up. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we technically just need all to wait. Here, come on, deploy. Roll that thing off. And yeah, that one is going. That's good. And uh, you guys are all trying to. 
Could you focus on the fire over here, please? Thank you. I mean, you're not really doing this in a sort of sensible way. There's more traffic problems down here. You guys over here, we need a doctor unit. That'll be you to go up here. Have you picked up the patient down here? No, you haven't. I haven't even told you to try and pick them up, but we'll do that now. Uh, this has been deployed, and that is looking good out here. So you need to walk down here and uh, prepare for the arrival of this vehicle, which carries some of the machinery that we need to sort out whatever it is that's spilled in there. Uh, you're just standing about here for no really good reason. Out here. Put water on that bit. Water on that bit. You guys need to really focus on all of that bit up here that's on fire. Now, it's a crucial part. It's up there. Bloody hell. So you're now arriving up here. The light and the Nord Arch. You guys need to go back to your stations. Get you guys parked here in the police van. And the light and the Nord Arch is arriving. Get them parked in the side street over here. You'll need to deploy your medical tent. This is the mouse casualty tent. You need to deploy out here. Doctor unit has now arrived, so we need them out, and we need the doctor to treat. We furthermore we need a doctor up here as well. We need to grab a couple of ambulances up to this scene. You have arrived, so we can roll you off the back. Uh, maybe we want to start moving these people out. That does seem like something life-preserving should come first, shouldn't it? Patient has been picked up. Patient number one has been picked up, I should say. You over here. Where is that? Oh, it's right up here. It's the farthest away. So get your treating on that. Are you guys doing even somewhat half sensibly? The answer is no to that. If I put you on board and I then click you, no, that won't technically do anything. So get you out here again and grab a fire hose. Put on your blues and you can hook up here with another fire hose. He's technically doing a decent job up here. We may have technically contained the fire up here. So deploy you over here with a fire splitter distributor. Grab another fire hose. Hook up to that. And you are doing that here. We'll set you up here. Come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. I need to deal with the other incident. That's far more important than this. Over here, we are now ready. See, they're now actually in. Okay, they're now technically ended out here. We need to pick up these people now. This is critical. Pick you up here. Get you into that, get you into that. And the ambulances are going the wrong way. The cocking ambulances are going the wrong cocking way. We need to divert them around. Uh, we have another, technically we have, we've got both of these ambulances who are at home. Uh, one might not be able to deploy. Get the Gruppenführer out of this, park it out of the way. They want it blocking traffic. Oh no, we are getting this. We also get in the ambulance, so that gives us immediate emergency treatment. Park you over there. They have now been treated, so we will drop them here. Uh, we will then grab you lot here. You need to... Do you technically have access to a BA? Well, we'll do that. Do that as a sort of external protection for this. Technically, we need one of them to run down here because we don't have enough wearing BAs. So we need to move these crews away. You put on your BAs. Get you down here ready for the next batch. Drop you off here. That should put them safely in that area. Just keep you up here for now. We don't need to cross-contaminate. They have arrived up here. The ambulances has arrived. So park these two ambulances. We'll then need to grab these two, which has a doctor, which is very important for us. You are loading here in a moment. Uh, okay, where well, you? You were up here. Get you out of the way. You have technically found another party. Get them inside. And deploy. Do we have... You guys are now out and about. So grab your medical bags. You need to also grab your medical bags. You park closely. That's all right. You guys are here to treat. So get you guys going in here. You down here. You need to run down here and grab anybody who's outside. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. You are now walking in here. Treat that person. Treat that person. Just be on standby. They're carrying down a stretcher. Second guy from our second ambulance here can carry a stretcher out. Firewise, we are in control. We are containing the fire. We need to clear AI traffic, however. Given the mess that we have, I don't have a keyboard shortcut for that. And we will go in here, clear all that traffic out, which will hopefully sort out all of the mess we had on the roads. Indeed, now they'll all deploy out here for the fire. You picked up a person, get you on board, get you out of the way, and then we will be ready to go as soon as you are here. Technically, we can park you to the side. 
realistically, we should have somebody ready with some fire hoses to hose down anybody who is uh, coming out of that place. Certainly with the suits, I need to be decontaminated afterwards. So technically, we should have some sort of water hooked up to that, but we don't because it's a game. Uh, have you your name in there clearing that person? Drop off this patient. And you will then commence treatment here. Make entry into the building. And you have arrived out here, so drop that off. We'll get the scuba guy up here, or SCBA guy. Pick it up here, down. And in fact, take this at SBA. I oh, can't remember all of those things. PA is what the Germans call it. Don't think it's quite the PA I would expect it to be. Don't think there's much public announcement going on, a public address. Now we just need to pick up the Indian party in here. Ambulance is ready. It's rolling by itself. What do we have in terms of bets in the hospital? We have four and two. That is... Whoopsies. I forgot about this. That is not a lot of bets, mind. So we'll need to sort that out. Uh, we need to crucially clear this vehicle as soon as possible because it might be very necessary. So both of these people have made entry with our blue coats on. And we have moved our final patient over here. Oh, certainly the final one that's that final worker in there. No, don't drop that. Don't drop that, you dick. Okay, well, you shit. Fuck it on that. Um, they have arrived up here. So park them again. There's a person running mock in the operational area, you say? All right. I think we have the patient aboard. You lot, on the verge of you being on patrol. Oh, yeah, you've put a taxi on fire and you're going to get yourself blown to smithereens. But I can't say I feel fucking sorry for you. So let's get working here. Picking up these patients. Get you sorted out. You're parked here. We need to pull in here. Once we know how many ambulances we need, we will go ahead and we will order these ambulances. Doctor man, pick up your bag and go ahead and take up position in the tent. That's where you are needed. You'll need to grab a stretcher team and get working over here. Start shifting these people inside. That is the crucial feature here. Get them inside. Get them treated up by the doctor if they need it. Once we have an overview of all of these parties, we will go ahead and call in additional ambulances as and when needed. Drop you in here. Pick you up here. This is looking good. This is looking good. They've sorted that out. Drop. And drop. You with your breathing masks on. Go ahead and pick up the... Go ahead and drop them off, please. Thank you. So we have one injured party remaining. That means you can go ahead and grab equipment from the uh, hook lift. And you are down here. You are picking up. No, no. Now I'm getting myself confused here. You pick up. You carry them over here. Ready for treatment. Over here. Patrol. Oh, God. The patrol car's exploded. That's a mistake on my part. Um, that is a problem. That patrol car's just not with us anymore. Uh, in no way you pick up that uh, you've got the equipment exactly what do we need to sort out where is that coming from it's coming from this area probably that massive tank here to get you out here get you decon technically we need to stage you you need to drop off whoever you're carrying pick up the final party down here then we'll need to get you back in a moment hopefully everything is working out well right about now you can't technically treat them. That's okay. Just get them up here and we'll put them inside the tent as soon as possible. We've nicked the party. That's good. Not like we've nicked the party. Not, you know, a party like Oompa Doompa Doompa music party. But certainly party in the sense that they are criminals involved in, the, or rather, involved in the incident. They're a party in the incident. Uh, you guys are all standing about, so you can return back. Ask the incident commander. I technically didn't bring them home. A bit of a whoopsie, I will admit. We've removed the final patient down here. You're ready down here. So pick you up. And uh, we should have patched up whatever was causing that leak. And you are now going in here. You will now get treated. So everything is doing okay. We have the situation under control. Drop you off in here. How many do we need? One, two, three. We need six ambulances. We have one, two, three on scene. In my math, that means we need another three. So one and two... And we can then borrow an ambulance from, say, this station to assist. That's certainly my mind in this. They are aboard. Doctor will be arriving shortly. They're now just awaiting transport. Let's go ahead and get these vehicles towed. Get you towed. And finally, get you towed. 
Now we have fire scene. We can close it down. Disconnect all of your fire hoses. We'll need to get one of you to drop your kit. Pick up this distributor. You can't work out how that works. So it's all about you need to know about the firemen in this game. Over here we are with the final patient. Now you need to drop them then. Drop it. Drop the patient. Drop the patient. Technically you're not the police so you don't need to give orders like that. But whatever. Go down here, try and treat. Yeah, see, this is getting critical now with these. They need to get loaded into the medical tent ASAP. Get you aboard. You can't really stabilise. We have a doctor aboard to get you sorted out here. Yep, load them inside, please. Thank you. Uh, we can now go ahead and grab uh, these two, our chemical brothers, and put them back into the normal fire suit in the little Fiat Ducato they brought in. Is it a Fiat Ducato? It is a Fiat Ducato. Didn't even know that. On our way. Didn't take to nick him. We can now start Wait. moving some of these into ambulances. We probably need a doctor car or two to assist. Grab you. Do we have... Uh, I mean, we technically have one down here. Do we have... No, that one's out rolling. That's technically there. There's another person running amok in the operational area. We have no police. We have a couple of... You. Please alert you. As soon as you've got off... Oh, it's that one there. I remember this one. They're inside this building. So it'll take a while, thankfully, for it all to kick off. And uh, the police are now available. We will grab one of the volunteer fire crews over here. Get them rolling. Up uh, here you are there. Get them loaded aboard. Now, can I technically go in here? They were in this. Oh, no, we can't. That's disappointing. I thought I might be able to buy one here and just send them out on patrol in it, but I can't. Presumably, it just has all of those functions assigned to it. So these four constables are now just out the side of the road. Uh, we technically need to get these inside to get you parked here. Now, we need to be careful as these uh, van is going to be obstructing it, but we can bring that one down here so it's not obstructing anymore. See, so they're now ready here for transport. Pick up here. Get you ready. You have not arrived yet to get a stretcher. You are technically ready already. And you are also ready with a stretcher. You're ready here. We need to go in here so we now have a few remaining still. So we need to not jump the gun on all of this. Get you guys in here. Hopefully some of these will now get transported. That you can roll. You can roll. Hopefully you'll also be rolling. Oh, it's a tight gap. But if you fit through, I can guarantee you that this one fits through as well. And it does indeed. Just bring you out here, letting the ambulance in. Get you out. We just need to grab a stretcher for everybody. Everybody needs a stretcher. Did I do the right maths here? Has the, the final ambulance hasn't arrived. That's why that's not really matching up. Up here we have uh, this ambulance, which is ready to go. And they will jump in on board. So... That's not a great bus, that. That's half of a bendy. Park up the police. Bring these guys up here. They need to use the Z-Fix coffer, which is a thing they carry in a suitcase that magically unlocks every door, even though you have a fucking axe. Because you're the fire brigade and you should always use an axe. Medical emergency. Medical emergency. Someone is suffering from shock. Treat the patient and remove. I can do that, man, of a treating person. Get you rolling up here. How many bets do we have? We have um, five intensive, two, two normal. Oh no. Okay, it's getting critical now in terms of bets. We now need to start sending people elsewhere. And uh, that can be pretty disastrous. Uh, we are also not with the right number of ambulances just yet. So grab in another ambulance to assist. Technically, we don't really need to maintain a strict cordon. Given that we are not having to deal with all of that hazmat at the moment. Get you in here. You will need to go to the... What is that one? That is the Sea Kanken House. Which is the Seaside Hospital. You also need to go to the Seaside Hospital. You got out because you haven't gotten anybody in yet. You just arrived. Because I'm a bloody nut. See, how many is in there? There's two in there. We can pack up some of this kit. Don't need that anymore. Pack that up. We can get that rolling. And that is you. Need a doctor on board. Great. So we are now seeing that here. You are now going also to the Sea Kanken House. 
Seaside Hospital. Okay, you're over here. Oh, yeah, this is the internet that we need to deal with because that's going to run out here. Is that... that? Ah, yeah, they've now got shots fired. Shots fired inside the house. Okay, now the door's actually unlocked. So could you please go in there and punch the woman in the face? Good policeman punches women in the face. That's not something I can say, is it? Anyway, that's what's happened here. So grab at you, get in there, stop treating. Place the suspect in the vehicle. I mean, we're going to need to find an ambulance somewhere. No, that's not. That's not. And Okay, so we now need to call in an ambulance from outside. We are running out of ambulances. We don't have any bets available. Uh, this is when this gets fun. Because I'm now technically really under pressure to deliver results here. So we've got the suspect in the vehicle. We're treating the patient. Probably also needs a doctor, actually. This will be really annoying. And you are going somewhere that I don't know where. Probably up here to the major incident. Get you out. You're ready here. You are intensive. Great news. That means you get to go to wrong one. We now got a traffic accident involving several vehicles. Not really, mate. There's just a one vehicle involved. Get your roll in here. Uh, we need the police. We have you. Call you in. Uh, shit. I'm legitimately out of ambulances. That's not great. So... Okay, lateral thinking time. We now need to treat these emergency calls pretty carefully and just deal with them as they come and just assess everything out here. Is there not an end at party? Oh, there is just outside because, you know, I'm overthinking it. I mean, you're just having a laugh over there, aren't you? So bring you out here or probably because the tent is in the way, in it. Um, you here... You need to go to that hospital. Well, you're intensive, so you'll get the doctor. Of you go. We need to sort this out. Disconnect you. Disconnect you. What are you doing? You are going to the seaside hospital? Or but you're trying to go on the motorway? But somebody has parked their vehicle in front of it. Can we then go to the medical clinic home, please? Thank you. Disconnect over here. We now have emergency services arriving down here. And do we have... The police are also ready. So roll you over here. Park you. Here we need to get ready. I mean, one of you guys can grab another medical bag. Hello. Convenient. I would say you grab your medical bag. You just commence treatment. You need to grab your cutters. You need to grab a fire extinguisher. Oh my word. They are completely fucked. And that is a medical terminology. So, have you grabbed over here? Yep, yes, please work quicker. We may have another fatality on our hands. Uh, quickly run over here, close this off. Up here and redirect traffic. It's stressful now. Traffic up here. Traffic's now fucked it again. Why? Oh, because there's a lorry that's parked down here that's going to be parked like that every fucking time, am I right? You can then go to hospital. Thank you for that. You need a doctor. Did I not request? And you also need a doctor. So basically, everyone needs a doctor. There's no doctors available. Hang on, is there? A, there's one doctor available, but that definitely goes down here due to the rather unfortunate situation here. Um, technically, do you? Fire! Also, somebody's shooting a gun in this area. I really feel like as I also cover the police is something I should be dealing with up here. Person hasn't been cut free. Uh, in here you're treating. Ambulance has arrived, however. That's great. Just park wherever the fuck you are, mate. Grab that. And can you please hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, you young chap. You're a young fit man. Go in there and treat. Uh, fire, 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 fire. What can I clear? What can I clear? Technically, I can clear the incident. Actually, what we will do, grab the K down. Oh, God, that's a huge fire. But uh, we need police to go up there and find out who the fuck is firing a gun in this area. And uh, that is a bit of a problem. That person has been cut out. Could you please try and look here? Okay, they're actually doing not badly. So you can return that here. We probably need another ambulance. We don't have any more ambulances. We are out of ambulances. You have arrived. Get you out. 
grab that here. I mean, we may have to use the LNA up here. But uh, let's hold off. We're doing something that drastic. You in here, hopefully that party won't need a doctor. Uh, we Did we not have a doctor unit up here? Yes, we do. We have that one here. So police has arrived. Now, who's shooting a gun? Is it inside the shop? I hope it is. Is there somebody firing a gun? I mean... Oh. The game has crashed, ladies and gentlemen. We will be on a quick break if I press this thing here, because I need to restart the whole sodding thing, and that takes a while. I should technically do some that says, like, be right back in that lot, shouldn't I? But I haven't, because I, I don't really plan. So, um, we'll just be on a break here. Just, you know, the game is booting up in the background and the what needs to load. So, if you have any questions or anything you, like, want to bring up, if your country's also about to, like, completely grind to a halt, then we can talk about that. If it's lovely weather, if, you know, there's anything else going on in the world or in your life or anything, just bring it up now because we have a couple of minutes of completely nothing to talk say or indeed do and that's really it i'll need to grab a drink because you know i can do that by the way i really should get a bead right back screen going because now i'm stuck here talking because nobody knows i'm going to be right back because the game is broken but that's what happens eh that was good nice with a quick drink of water and I can look at the internet and find some things to talk about because that's what we do in the internet, isn't it? All right. So is anything exciting going on in the world? That's something we need to be careful about saying in these days. Could mean nuclear war. Could mean many things. Yep. Looking at the news. Uh, children being... Victims of violence. Not really good topics of talking about. A stabbing. Um, yeah, no, 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 that's, no. No, that's nothing really good there. That's just death and destruction. Anything worse really would be talking about that thing in Syria. And let's not go into that. So, let's see here. Formula One. Anybody watches that? Anybody looking forward to the Azerbaijani Grand Prix in Baku this weekend at the not really least exciting track in the world, really, is it? I mean, it's quite dull. Last year was a bit exciting because Vettel drove into Hamilton and this year Verstappen is probably going to drive into someone. Doesn't really matter who, it seems. Just everybody. Game's still not loaded, by the way. It's loading the mod, but everything else is not really done yet. Apparently, according to the Twitter, the FIA has issued a fresh clampdown on exhaust blowing aerodynamic gains in F1 effective immediately. <laughs> That's not very exciting. That's a bit too technical for me. It's also, I can see, on Autosport to probably. Ooh! Not even, no, not e not on a paywall as they usually are. Uh, no, b b b b b b nah, nah, you know, Formula One in it. It's not really going to change the drivability. Oh, aha, we're in the menu now, so we are ready to load up the game again. Very exciting, isn't it? Literally stalling now. Just waiting here. We've got a load screen. I can probably press that one. Oh dear, that's showing black. Emergency. That shouldn't... There we... Um, right. Is that looking as messed up in actual stream as it does on my little preview? Because it looks like I've sort of done a whoopsie again. If This could just load up here and I can bring myself over to... No, no. Bring this up here. We can have a look here and see. Yeah, that's fucked, isn't it? Completely fucked, so we shall sort that out once it's loaded. It's a bit small, sorry about that. Uh, I have to do some scaling, to basically in order to make the whole bloody thing work, uh, given that I'm running this in 16x10 and Twitch works in 16x9. And that's why you sort of didn't see parts of the screen earlier and you will not see parts of the screen again. 
You're now seeing all of the screen. Arguably far too much of it. So I will quickly pause here and sort that out. That's why there's no audio. Oh, look at what I'm doing. Ooh. I don't know if that's actually being broadcast, so let's not make fun of that. Uh, you need to, yeah, we need to just quickly grab this. See, I did this, and it was very lovely before I started streaming, and then the game had a crash. How rude of the video game is that, eh? That should just about do it. You can see most of what's relevant. And we are back in. And we now go right from the start. So single player LST, single player light stella. Set that up out here. Loads of beeping will be going on now. I will grab a quick snack here as I've got that. Some pretzel sticks for those interested. Now, just for future reference, pretzel sticks, not a good snack on the stream. It's it's very chewable and all of that. I've also done a whoopsie by calling out a vehicle that I didn't mean to call out. Or maybe yeah. I call out that entire station. I do, however, need to bring out this ladder unit because it's, you know, parked a bit off. They've sort of done that a bit drunk coming back from a fire. So we need to sort that out, pull you out, and then bring you back in. That way, no vehicles are... Yep. Yeah, see, we've got a massive brass band on tour now. Don't need no brass bands here, mate. Off you go back to your... Um, actually, on second thought, um, lads, um, surprise, I've got a call for you. Uh, we now need all of the police. Uh, you need to go up here with two, you and you. Off you go down here. We have a fire, major incident already. No, 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 no. I told you guys to drive to the fucking fire, didn't I, you dumb bastards? Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Go, go. You're parking in front of one another. You two need to roll too. We have a fire caused by faulty electrical. Why has that buzz? Apparently I called out a bus. Didn't know I had a bus. Apparently I've got that's a bus of things that we can use because we're the emergency services and obviously we need a bus in the emergency services don't we so park you over here ladder arriving first very useful there's a dhl van catching fire uh, technically that ladder needs to be parked differently we'll need to bring in this appliance to the front door you deploy grab you outside here you two need to put on a ba please thank you Water tender arriving, the law enforcement's arriving. Was, was that it? No, we've got more coming in here. Good. So we now need to park everybody about here. Staging over on this side. Doctor, amber lamp, right over here. Patrol vehicle arriving. You need to sort itself out down here. We will need to get the Gordon Fuhrer out. Get him to park the vehicle in a decent position down here. Uh, meanwhile, the second pump plant technically doesn't really need to do anything here. Park this vehicle over here. What we need to do, put you inside, we'll erect the ladder, get you out. Why would you turn off the bloody blues, you dumbos? Okay, we now got somebody moaning inside, so we need to actually push pretty hard now. Do not, I turn that off, there we go. Oh, great. We have oh, only two injured parties. That's all right. As far as I'm concerned, that is all right. All of the building is on fire, though. That's not all right. That's the opposite. That's anti-all right. That's all bad. All bad is what's going on here. Could you put water on that building? You need to... Oops. Uh, hello. You need to connect up here. Connect up to that. You need to deploy here. That's not how you put out a fire, mate. Oh, well, we'll just ignore them. Deploy out a uh, distributor. Then walk over here. I need to lower my voice a bit. I'm talking a bit loud because I'm a bit excited when I play this. A bit excited and stressed. 
And that in turn is stressing out my voice and I need to be careful with that. Because I can't go long if I overdo myself. So let's try and calm down here, have a bit of a duxy bout. Go nice and smooth, as we say in streaming. I don't know if we do, I've just made it up. Uh, what we need to do over here is also establish a water supply, even though you're technically a water tender. So you carry all of the water in the world, and that's good for everybody. Could you sort that out? You... What? Ah, is the fire technically out? Because that's what I'm feeling like is going on here. Yes, all of the fire is out. So, good news! Fire is out! That's something you usually want to celebrate. I mean, even if you're in the bloody fire service, you still want to celebrate the fire being out, because that's sort of your job. Uh, down here, you are ready. You are... We need also to establish a water supply to that vehicle here. Because it's used some in supplying the ladder. So bring it down. They're treating over here. We need a secondary ambulance. From that station down here we go. I won't redirect traffic down here because I've done that before when it goes a bit wrong. So we will sort this out here. Uh, before we do anything though, we will need to establish a water supply. Then we need to disconnect from the ladder. Because you know... Otherwise, it's just not going to work, and I don't want to try and disconnect any of that before I have sorted all of that out. So, drop the hose from this guy, just disconnect all of the things, really. Secondary ambulance arriving. Let's get you out here. You need to bring out a stretcher. You also need to get a stretcher ready. As soon as they are ready, we'll go ahead and we'll transport to hospital. You, for example, and you can grab that one, seeing as that was a bloke you were treating. So that wasn't as bad as I had feared. This could have potential to have been another mass casualty incident. Thankfully, it wasn't. You need to operate the pump, because we need to supply you with water. You're ready to return back. And what we're looking at here, yep, you're now filling up. Right, how far up are we filled? 3,525,000 litres. Why are you not going up? Are you going up now? That the guy did it again? Oh yes it is. Now we need to grab the incident commander. You need to run up here. Sort out the little fire alarm. Which is what's beeping by the way. If you hear a beeping, don't adjust your computer or whatever you're watching this on. That is just the fire alarm that's going off. And you need to clear it in order to sort it out. So turn these cars around. That is done in here. Oh, technically I've selected the wrong character. You are now full, so we can go ahead and disconnect. Thank you. You can collapse the ladder. And you can disconnect here. And uh, that vehicle has returned. You guys can get back in. You guys can get back in. You can return on patrol, or technically go on patrol. You were never on patrol to begin with. This is the first call. They've all collapsed here. Get you back inside. Get you on patrol. We need to go on patrol route one. You guys just need to go back to your stations, which you are willing to do. We don't need to transport any of those burning cars. All we have down here is still outstanding. Mainly the patients, I believe, that are being transported to a hospital. Do we have more police down here? I think I forgot to clear all of the police. Oh, yes, I did. There's a patrol vehicle sitting here. Oh, we have the backing appliance. That also needs to return in. You need to go on patrol. You're on patrol. Uh, that'll despawn. Yeah, we cleared the fire, so we're now awaiting the next call. What will it be? Place your bets now. Fire. A person a bit injured. Or somebody shooting somebody in the face. That's our choices. Meanwhile, I will send out the police on patrol, as that tends to be useful when you're dealing with criminals in society. That is their job, and that is what they're good at. We just need to make sure they're not returning out on the same patrol path, so it all goes a bit wrong if they do. But no, indeed, it looks okay here. We can grab the unmarked car, which starts off as a BMW 5 Series estate, but I like to swap it out for an Audi. Because it's just nicer that way. Oh, I've done the wrong call here. I want that one staffed with four crews. Because that's just nicer. Usually when you have a major incident, you can just send out more police. 
in these vans. Nicer certainly to have four officers in a van than to have two officers in a van. And we are still awaiting here. And now we have a vehicle fire as I sorted out all of the police on patrol. Vehicle fire is literally down here where all of these police are. It's right near our second fire station, so that will be quickly sorted. We will just bring in the police car here, the police van. Bring it out here, park it behind. Don't turn off your bloody lights. That's very useful here. So they will be heading out. We will also get them in a breathing mask before they arrive. Hang on, why are you out? I shouldn't ask that question, should I? That doesn't really matter anyway. You're patrolling on the bloody sidewalk pavement. That's not great. Could you get on the road? Thank you. That's a bad example, isn't it? Let's get our scene placement going. Uh, just to provide a bit of a safety out here, we will... Oh, that's a shit place, isn't it? Can't do that. Just park it down here. Bring in the appliance, park it over here, we've got plenty of time so no need to rush it. You are arriving here. Deploy out with a quick attack using high pressure line. You need to park over here. And you finally need to park right behind, facing the right way. Thank you, and as soon as this fire is out, we will go ahead and call in the tow truck. It's all pretty easy. Nothing yet, but we've seen before how stressful it can get pretty quickly. Once a call start coming in, once we've had a few medical emergencies, things will surely heat up. And I'm not just saying that because there's a car on fire right now. Things will literally heat up because it is very exciting. Yeah. Fire is out. We can go ahead and send in a patrol officer here. Pick up that. And they can go ahead and return. You technically need to fold down your big X on the back. That's not to make you a target, that's just to tell traffic we've closed down a roadway. And you are turning around, going back, everything is lovely. That's our bus in here. Just making sure now that all of our police are on patrol, and they haven't got themselves stuck on something. Oh, and you're coming in, of course, from the far side. And now we're just waiting here, I won't redirect traffic. There are tram lines. If you tell them to turn around, it can get a bit weird. As in, they just sort of park wherever they are and they won't move. And you have to bring the police out and shoot it. And then the fire service has to come and put out the fire. And then you have to tow it. Because there's no real way of getting those deleted otherwise. There is that little debugger down here. But that doesn't work on that kind of traffic. That only works on default uh, game traffic. Not the custom tram system they have set up. Presumably also why that lorry got a bit weird down here. But I can't really do anything about that. And this is the exciting part where we just wait. There are now reports of a crash. Oh, yes, yes, yes there is. It's the same one we've seen before. They have arrived back at the station. So we'll get a horse to going. Get you sorted out here. We'll need a couple of ambulances. Get you sorted out here. Oh, what we need to grab is the Autobahn Polizei. We also need to close down that lane. Hopefully that'll go a bit better this time around. They are responding. Down here we will get you out here as well as an ambulance. Come on, hurry up. What we are doing once they arrive up here is a bit dangerous. And we do need to shut down the entire motorway in order to do this. I'm turning them down here on this slip bro, getting them down that way. Going against traffic, but I can't do that until I've shut down the whole motorway. For obvious reasons, if you're driving along on the German Autobahn and the fucking fire appliance appears driving towards you, you're gonna shit your bricks, aren't you? So we'll just wait here until the police has arrived. It's coming in here in the lovely little van. They will park. We will block off Trahik down here. As soon as that appears, thank you, just pull in here. 
Thank you, danke schön. Erect the, like, the matrix board on the back. But he doesn't want to come on, and that's fine. You may want to try and collapse it and erect it. Quickly grab some conage out of the vehicle. We will need to close down the entire motorway whilst we work on this. I mean, there's one person lying literally in the bloody lane right next to traffic. So that's been sorted. Grab you down here. And then we will bring down you. Oh, they're getting stuck up here. They're having a lovely little party, aren't you? Well, don't have a party without me, lads. Uh, here's a park of the ambulance. That's actually quite a bit far away. I want that parked over here. Thank you. Incident commander can park down here to create a visible barrier. What have you done? Yeah, I'll not give you an order to park there. Thank you. That bring down the fire appliance. Ambulance, Dr. Car. Hurry, hurry, hurry. And sort that out here. Grab a stretcher. Get you on standby. Get you on standby. Don't know how many injured parties we will have. Two or three. Don't remember. I've had many calls. That many hazmat incidents. Many people who've shot so much the game crashed. Cried on a bicycle, in it. When they do that. So we'll get them ready here with their jaws of life. Or, you know... The whatever generic version they have here. I'm guessing Jaws of Life is like a trademarked version. And then there are other versions. So we have two ambulances, and that is indeed all we'll need. Nobody's in the front car. The front car being a Toyota RAV4 on. Is that a Florida plate? Hmm. Good thing we're in fictional Germany, otherwise that thing wouldn't be bloody allowed. They're not even conforming to European lighting laws, are they? Because they got, like, weird things with the turn signals and that. Weird things, yeah. them Americans, eh? Get you sorted out down here. We'll need to prepare the doctor for the second party. They may be in. We'll get you guys ready. And uh, you'll need to actually park with your lights on if you would. Just, uh, the, you know, the whole team safety thing I like on doing. So can you please return to your vehicles, ready and good to go, you will be. Yeah, we've shot down basically the whole motorway. Because obviously, I mean, there's a bloody great car accident up there with a party lying on the road. Sort of have to do that. Okay, we now got the second party out. So doctor, woman, go and treat that party. You can go to hospital. How? Oh, you're looking a bit worse for wear, aren't you? Uh, we got the police over here. You can transport that vehicle or certainly call in a tow truck. Similar deal with the Golf. Nice choice. That's, that'll be sorted out here. And we will just wait here. We know nobody's sort of left on the ground. There's no oil or anything. And we don't need to sweep up any of the rubbish left behind. So we can technically clear these units. Oh boy. A bit of a yawn came over me there. And that's not great. But what is good is the state of this... Oh, hello. I've done a mistake there. Suffered a Somebody suffered a stroke? Oh, dear. We will need to grab some sort of units here. Hurry up there if you would. You guys. Up here, please. Thank you. We will need to go up there, try and uh, at the very least stabilize the patient until ambulances arrive. And as soon as this patient has been transported, we can go ahead and open up one lane of traffic. Uh, do we want to do that now, however? No, we don't. But we can send you back down here. You are now ready to go. So what we can do is send this officer down, put him on the roadway. You have arrived. Good for you. Out you go. You grab a medical bag from the vehicle. Fire blasters do carry those. Get the blues going. Sort of as a beacon. Allowing the ambulances to home in on this incident. Always useful for so. We also parked in literally the middle of the bloody road. So a very smart idea. I'm guessing Dr. Woman will need to go on board of the ambulance. But we will wait and see. In a moment when the patient is in. No, we don't. So that's lovely. That's certainly a lot easier for me. You can pick up these cones. You can return as the ambulance services arrive up here. Doctor car parked at the back. 
So you can pair here. Very important we get this sorted out. I do like to get the ambulance crew also out with a bag, just in case anything happens nearby, as it sometimes do. It's just nice having them there on standby if you get another severe heart attack or something over here. Has happened to me. Uh, could you treat instead of just standing about? Oh, bloody hell. Are they in the way? Is that the problem here? So get them aboard. There is a lot of firemen. There we go. So we'll clear them, return them to the station. Say thank you very much to the fire service for helping out these poor people. That's not brilliant, is it, mate? I mean, as a tow truck, that's not great work. Um... Now, it's nice they have that sort of lane closure system. It just simply does not work, does it? Oh, my word. That's a lot of problems. So, let's go in here and click on that little magical delete everything button down here. See, this is better. This is workable. You're not trying to run away to do that. You need to go back to HQ. Not bloody difficult, is it, mate? Come on. Come on, yeah, there you go. You can now go over here and pick up that vehicle. Thank you. What about the patient? What's up? Looking better. We are improving this man in a leather jacket. And oh, oh no, 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 no. Not a violent crime. That's not allowed. They've hurt somebody. So we need to get an ambulance over here as well. Um, um, the government's actually running towards our emergency personnel. Um, alert everybody, alert everybody, alert everybody, they're running towards, okay, they're now standing, they're now shooting a police van, breaking news, woman shoots police van in front of police station, as police bike pulls up, which she then decides to shoot, I'm beginning to think she should be committed, rather than nicked, but, um, yeah, oh, and also, we have to transport in a car, for like reasons of, I don't know, but that is something you have to do. Even though you're literally out at the police station, so get you to the station, get you inside. You've just arrested a woman. Meanwhile, we'll bring in uh, an ambulance. We'll bring in a police vehicle just to make sure that nobody's going to die again, because that will be unfortunate to send in the police. Run inside. You may need a doctor, doctor. Oh, over here by the machine. Um, okay, I don't know what that is, but it said something about Hilfe, and I think that's, you know, a Polizei betrunkene Person, okay, so that's a drunk person, so we'll send down the bloody law, off you go, presumably they will, you know, end up, how do you not know how to drive a bloody tow truck? You're a professional tow truck driver, aren't you? So go off down here, park up, scoop up the car. See, that's not so difficult, is it? You're navigating a police vehicle. Oh, God, what are you doing? Come on. Who's turned up drunk at work as a tow truck operator? Yeah. That's not a good thing. Pick we'll up the patient. Uh, patient number up here. Yeah. Oh, stable, we'll ready to go. Pick you up. And here we go. This mod, by the way, does that whole health bar thing right. When it's full, people are ready for transport. It's not like the base game, but it basically doesn't matter. It's just a bit weird in that regard. To so get you in here, transport, hopefully. There's a person running amok in the operational area. Arrest and take them away. Oh, no. What are we going to do? But we're going to grab the police. Police. Oh, hello. Mate. Mate, you're being shot. I'd like to see some initiative here. So punch, punch, punch. Punchy, punchy, punchy lady in the facey. Good job, constables. We can cancel that second unit. Hello. Back on the road you go. No, don't stop in the middle of the road. That's not helpful. No, don't go that way. We've got somebody going that way. No, not that way, I said. That's right. So you can communicate. Oh, God, that's a fat person. Don't think I'm supposed to call them fat, but that's what that means. Eddie Poos, a patient, is fat bloke, really. Didn't look fat. Saw him. Didn't look that fat. But, you know, apparently they were. What's happened? Oh, that woman's now injured because she was drunk. 
Oh, well, that means we need this police unit to transport it. Oh, bugger me. But at least we cleared the traffic smash. So collapse the sign, get your return back in. We can then grab uh, you. All lanes are open for business on the road. We like that. So park up the ambulance over here out of the way. Or oh, it's out of the worst we can get. Come on. Thank you. Out we go with the crews. Pick up whatever the bloody hell you've got. You run in here. Treat whatever that is. Well, it's a drunk person. We know what it is. Why am I saying that? We know it's a drunk person. And over here we are still awaiting the arrival of the big ambulance. And oh boy is it big if you haven't seen it. It's coming in now. Over. That's the spirit. It's a big ambulance. It's an ambulance for big people. And big people do need big ambulances. So you're available. Bet we have what? We should have five intensive, 11 normal. So not as intensive on the bets as it could have been. Uh, certainly the adipose patient here will also help us out on that front. Because that will be transported to the university hospital. Uh, we need to get some of these patrol vehicles well, on patrol. Because they're just sitting here doing nothing. And that's not what I want my police to do. Patient is ready for transport. So get this sorted out. On board. And they will need a police officer on board. Because you know it's a criminal that's being transported. They need the police there so they don't punch the medical people in the face. Because medical people really don't like being punched in the face I'll find. Like, they don't appreciate that one bit. Just a bit of a punch in the face and they're all, eh, eh, come with the police. Eh, eh, eh. Yeah. Anyway, we'll go ahead here and prepare this person over here. Did he not change or am I misremembering? It might be the same bloke. I just, oh no, I think the leather bloke was the one up there on the street with a severe heart attack. This bloke here just got punched or shot or whatever. See, this is such a big an ambulance that they need a bloody ramp. We'll get them going to the university hospital. Off you go. And you will also go to station, actually. You won't also go anywhere. You'll go to station. You are route number three, and you are route number one. So that's all right. You are probably returning. You are ready to transport. You need a doctor. Don't know why. So uh, you got another shout. Off you go. You'll be here very quickly. Get you turned around. We didn't need a doctor to treat. I don't know why they all of a sudden need a doctor to transport. But whatever. We'll do it. Bring you just over here so we don't bug each other out on the way. Get you out on board the ambulance. And we'll roll to hospital. Off we go. You will follow. You will follow. You will follow. So everybody now is on a road trip to the hospital. And there's a lot of police up in this area. Just in this general vicinity is heavily patrolled. Oh, well now we've got a pickpocketing going on down here. Yeah, this man here is very angry. The woman took his things. And the woman doesn't like that. Oh, the man doesn't like that the woman did that. Understandably so. So we've got the police coming in a van. Stop, it's the police. Stop, it's the police. I said, stop, it's the police. You've now got a siren as well to really remind you of how much of the police we are. Yeah, punch, punch, punch women in the face. Good job, officers. You punched a woman to arrest her. It's the only way to arrest. Just punchy, punchy, punchy. It's a Jeremy Clarkson school of arresting. Not very effective, mind. Everybody has to get new jobs once they've made one arrest. So it's really resource intensive for the police. And we have uh, literally nothing to do. We've got the drunk party being transported. And then we've got Tashin Diebestal. Which is basically purse snatching. Not a nice thing to do, isn't it? But what can we do? Well, we are technically the police, so we can do something. That's actually quite silly of me to say. So the Tashin Diebestal has been dealt with. Smooth, fluent German there. Not really, but it was close enough to being real. So, yay for that. Another call, please. In a moment, it will. Surely. Okay. No. 
It's just getting night time now. A lovely little night time. Police are on patrol. You are... A medical emergency. Somebody suffered a severe heart attack. A transport. A where are they? Sort of over here. All right. Up here with the ambulance. You are a doctor vehicle. Up you go. Pretty quickly. It's a severe heart attack. It's not just a heart attack. It's very severe. I mean, is there any non-severe heart attacks? Like, can you have... If Is anybody who is a medical person, please answer. Can you have a non-severe heart attack? Because it seems like something that's very severe. Like an attack in the heart. You know, it's, it's a fairly critical organ. You'd notice it if it stopped working. I suppose you really wouldn't. But people around you would. It will be very noticeable once a heart stops functioning. So, doctors coming down here. It's one call. I don't mind throwing all the resources at just to be safe. We will grab in here, even though we have, of course, in modern day public service, you need to be very mindful of the money you spend when you design or dimension the emergency services, because, you know, people's lives are not worth money, apparently. So, we'll go down here, sort this out. We'll just leave you on here, turn off the four-way flashes. I really don't like that. Maybe that's the thing they do in Germany. Just leave the blues on. Listen, let's go. Treat this man. Oh, yeah, he's fucked. He's also got a man in his heart. His heart attack quite clearly stems from this man putting the foot through his fucking heart. Madman. We will go ahead and speed up the time a wee bit. Hopefully everything will work out just as well. I'll need a drink, Christ. And I'll need another glass of food poisoning. I don't eat the bloody rubbish, eh? Hang on, just quickly filling it up here. Sorry, you're probably hearing pouring. Is that me? Your wee? Sorry. Anyway, uh, we have an incident of the food poisoning. Grab the ambulance. Uh, where is it? It is right there. So get your rodent in. Police are on patrol. Everything's looking lovely. You're up here. You're treating. He is transportable, so pick up the man. Get you on board. Oh, yeah, you are going to be in tent of care, so that's a problem. But uh, that's all right. So they'll be taken with brass band to hospital. Park of this ambulance right here. Jump out and do the bits that you do when people have got food poisoning. What would you do in an ambulance if somebody had food poisoning? Presumably glove up three times because they're going to spew bodily fluids i think it's a polite way of describing it all over the place you don't need all of that on your park down the side street you will need a doctor of course because of course you fucking will and it's too early to have the other doctor so we will need to call in the one from down south as this one will be going to hospital off you go thank you go go police wise we can send some of these patrol cars well, on patrol, really, again. No point in them just being parked up, is there? So, Doctor here, who technically needs to sort his car out, but we can do that using you. I mean, if we just send you up here as well, you'll arrive, and whilst they treat the patient, you can fix the car. That's logical. Let's get you rolling out. We also have one up here. You are number two. Patrol can... Ah, that's a problem. Both of you on path number three. What's up? So we shall rotate you around. No. There we go. You're now patrolling in different directions. You are... Oh, don't... Oh, God. So you are now number two. You're going that way. And you are heading north. We cleared the... Oh, the doctor's only just arriving in here now. Technically, this doctor might have arrived shortly after. Technically, they would probably need to get some new equipment and that, so probably not. Anyway, Dr. Carl arriving here. Park you outside. As the city crews arrive to mend the car, park you over here, get you out. Or you'll arrive right in here. You need to treat, though, so get in and grab your bits. You just get working on the car whilst we treat. Oh, we now got a violent crime. 
over here. So we'll need an ambulance to stage. Yeah, we also need a doctor unit. Uh, did we not just... You cleared, thank you. So get you rolling in here. Where is the suspect? The suspect is... Ah, that's a slight issue, isn't it? That's actually inside the bloody ambulance station. No, hello, there he is. Suspect's in there. Go, 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 go. Get the suspect. Hey, he's running on foot. Ambulance can go in here, arrive and do the ambulancey business. Meanwhile, yeah. you're doing this. This person will be written. You're going to run away because the officers didn't arrest you. Yeah, fuck it. We failed that one miserably at that. Get in your car and get down here to the patient. You grab your medical bags. You grab your stretcher. And we will then get ready to transport in a moment. Now, I'm calling in the doctor because I know from bitter experience. Hello, uh, could, uh, uh, Kida. This is Bieberfeldemort. It's very nice. It's certainly my personal favourite due to all of the features it has. Technically, it's a multiplayer mod, but it's also single player compatible. It's a bit micromanageable, micromanageable, but that's all right. It's certainly the best compromise between everything. Sort of takes all the good components from all of the other good mods that are out there and just sort of combines them into a nice big one. And that was Bieberfeld and modification. I believe they're working on a new version for whatever they're calling the current version of Emergency 5. Like their Emergency 5, Emergency 2012, Emergency Gold, Emergency 20 Years Anniversary. I, I've lost track of what they've done there. But if you look on the internet, you can see some preview bits from that mod. I don't know if it's ever going to come to fruition, because it's a mod and all of those things. Oh, hello, QB! with a thing what's that thing i haven't seen that before I'm, I'm an internet person but i don't know any of those memes i'm a far too old to deal with memes really i don't really bother with them is that a meme that green tortoise lizard thing that looks quite sad actually but that's in the eyes it has sad eyes that's not nice happy eyes is good you want to be happy. What are we having bets, though? Talking about happy and things. Yeah, we failed that one because you're not taking the one away. Seven, normal, four intensive. So, depending on what we get, and uh, that would be... You're arriving back in. Don't we have an ambulance? Yeah, you go in. Let's not look at that. I remember someone called Cubies Gaming on YouTube. How long ago should I remember them from? It doesn't like immediately ring a bell, but if I'm pointed in the right direction, things might work in my brain. We will speed up the time as people are being transported. Yeah, that's the thing that we failed, but we... Did I hear gunshot? No, I'm just imagining things. I imagine gunshots in the... There are now reports of a traffic accident involving several vehicles. Oh no, it's a police! Oh no, policemen's are injured. Oh no, that's no good. That's no bueno. Doctor, doctor. Up here, quickly, quickly. Go, go, go. And the police car's now on fire. It's all hands on deck. Emergency. Em it has deleted my... Technically, maybe not even added it in. At it. But you... One. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Car on fire. Bloody hell, police. So I'll arrive out here. And you can't even bloody pick them up, can you? Can you pick her up? No, you can't. Oh, bloody hell, we need ambulances. We need ambulances. We need them quickly. Damn it. Damn it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, well, I mean, technically, we do need police as well because it's police officers that are injured out here. So we need everybody here. Can you guys... Oh, you can't even pick up injured people. That is a problem. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Hurry, hurry, hurry. It's a serious incident. Oh, God, don't blow up the police car. Oh, the police car's going to blow up. That police car is going to go boom, boom. We will need to pull everybody away. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hurry, 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 hurry. It's a major fucking incident. That police car's going to explode. Arrive, arrive, arrive. Hurry up, you dicks. Get out, put water on the fucking... No. <clears throat> I'm not happy with that. 
I really wanted to say that car. It's not one of my patrol cars. But he just blew up, you know. That's not nice. Could you... Oh, you dumb bastards. Bring it in there, will ya? To get the final bon out here, we've called in everybody, given the fact that the police are involved. It's very vital to also get the police on the scene. Okay, that car's now a bit on fire now. And that is going down very rapidly indeed. Maybe if we give an order to... Could you put water on that fucking car, mate? Uh, why did that just... What just happened? Um, uh, what happened here is that every emergency crew just turned up at once. And I had nowhere to put them. Which is a party and a half. In oh, God, a woman is now... Oh, God, now... No, that's a doctor. Oh, fuck me. Why did she pass out? Um, um, uh, you guys can come back. Come back, because I, I don't know. We've got business going on here that isn't good. Could you way? stop doing whatever you're doing and go over here? Uh, can you put on your BAs? Oh, no, now the doctor car is on fire. Um, on get way. on board, please, and deploy a very quick attack here. Yeah. Oh, great, now that's caught fire. What's going on with these highly flammable... Oh, God, every car's on fire. Every car's on fire. And we now need to start recovering some of these people. Because it's all gone to fucking shit. So get you out. Get you out of here. Grab your medical bags. Now, that's a doctor car, fuck. So I'm now down a doctor car. Oh, it's your channel. We're still used to it normally, but you don't make videos anymore. It used to publish a lot of emergency fall, and especially Manhattan mod. Oh, God, yeah. The Manhattan Let's mod. The Is that way. not the one that used audio files oh. from GTA 4? I remember there was a New York oh, mod. There were a few yeah. mods based around New York, oh, weren't there? And I remember one of them used some of the police oh, yeah. audio files from oh, no. uh, GTA. Because we used the same one in LSPDFR, which was very weird. Whatever. I think we put out all of the car fires now. But we have... Oh, and now somebody suffered a stroke. Thank you. That's just what we bloody need, innit? And they're inside that bloody tower block. So we're down a doctor car. We definitely need to sort that out. That is a very important. Muy importantes. Um, I don't think I remember you, but as you said, it's been quite a long time. Like, that's a long time in internet years, that really. That's like seven lifetimes so we'll need to get all of these over here now get them treated up uh, we need to start towing them oh and somebody's dropped oil helpfully on the road what 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 this police woman has just what is going on i mean what Okay, let's try use this police officer or this fireman to grab this. Like, is he? What's go? What? I am confused as to why people are having problems here. It's like the Bermuda Triangle of people being injured for no reason. Uh, no, it wouldn't be chemicals. They would show up as having um, a little logo next to it. There is a little, um, a little like biohazard, depending on what it is. Ele electricity yeah. could be it, but I don't think it's in the game as such. I haven't seen it before. Uh, what we can do is on have a look. Way. If we select the, What's you need to drop way? off the lady. I know you like her, but you need to drop her off. What's we can up? go in here. We can then pick up you. We can get the. Yeah. Oh dear, the Corpen for you is now also a bit injured. I mean, what? It can't be electricity, because the firemen with BAs on them—they're not getting injured. So it's obviously something pertaining to the heat or smoke. I don't know, but that's very weird. And these guys technically can't deal with anything. But we need to. Oh, here you've got a BA on, so grab that. Lock in here. And that you—you technically had a fire hose out. 
Poke up here. So we agree that nothing is on fire. Right. So why the fuck are these people not feeling great? They're just going, oh my god, look at that accident. Oh, it's so bad. I now got PTSD and I need to lie down. And now somebody's suffering. And now it's all having a... Why have you just parked here with your lights on? Anyway, we've got somebody suffering from shock. Treat and remove. A affirmative game. Up here we've got you. You're inside. Oh yeah, that person's really not feeling well. That person may be dead. Oh no, I think they're moving. Oh no, they're lying very still. That yeah, that person's fucked. So up here we are now... I mean, what we need is more people with things that make people feel better. I guess what we can do is grab the internet commander, right? And see here, no, there's not really anything that indicates... No, there's nothing here that would indicate why. Presumably the game thinks that one of my cars out here is still on fire. Even though it's not, which is a bit weird. Have you, have you been suffering for that long? Oh, bloody hell, that's like... That's nearly a decade. That's like eight years now. That's too long. Let's be honest. That is just too long. But thank you nonetheless. It's been a long time, but it's been fun. Yeah, that person's dead, mate. So we'll uh, get you out here. We'll get a police car around whenever we find time to do that. Where is this person down here who's a bit injured? Oh, they're in... The oh, no. They're fucked because I think I need the fire service out here because of course on an ambulance you don't carry anything that can open a door like you know you wouldn't carry maybe not an axe but like you could do something like i'm guessing out here there are windows and like there would be like a potted plant or something you could just throw against the glass yeah see now that door's locked so we need to grab a vehicle that shall be you you need to go over here probably also need a doctor I feel we need to grab ambulances over here now quite quickly to try and treat all of these people. Um, so that is a question here. What do we technically do? I guess I know what I can do. I can call in these towies. Like right over here. No, that's too far away. So you are a towie. You are a towie. You over here. Yeah, run over here and just deploy that. Oh, hello. You've arrived. Great. Could you drop off your Kobenführer? Thank you. That means you can treat. I mean, or at the very least, stabilize. Uh, we just need ambulances here. Oh, hello. Oh, you've had a moment too. Did I... Yes, yes, you're right. Yes, you're right. I did tweak the... Building... Oh, Jesus. Yes, I did tweak the mission file or the free play things to reduce the number of calls. I've also reduced the number of police calls because I felt like there were too many of those. Like, it was all I really was doing was having lots of police calls and they're not really that fun. So I changed that to favour uh, more medical calls and also uh, fire calls. Or will I just note it down the police frequency, which is pretty easy to do. Uh, then I changed the uh, incident frequency uh, to try and slow everything down. I was sort of hoping to get just one incident per, you know, time, really, but that doesn't work at all. There's hardly any way of doing that, and I've also called in that tow truck on the wrongest place in the world. Oh, and I've also called in... Okay, so we need to alert this. I mean, it's not greatly done by me, is it? I've completely missed all of that. Anyway, we'll go and bring in the police here. You've got a damaged police car. So yes, I reduced the frequency number of incidents and all of that. I can't talk now because I'm very stressed, though. Okay, that person technically wasn't treated. You just pick up this party. You in here, you can go. But yeah, it's a bit of a mess, isn't it? So we don't even have a bloody incident commander down here. And we've got, like, the biggest air horn in the world going off here. Right, before we know it, the whole bloody neighbourhood's going to be on fire. At the very least, we can bring in the fire plants and then park it across the roadway to block off traffic. That works. We can also grab uh, this appliance up here. A part-time appliance. Bring you down here. Uh, we should now... 
technically clear some of this. Drop you off here. Let's try and tow at, at these. Is that the... What's going on? You can pick up that thing. Goodies. You're here now. So we are pretty close. You can go home, for example. Right. Yeah, I mean, you're a bit buggy. Have you... You are here now. Great. Swing you around. Over here. Get you outside. You fall. Put on your BA. Oh, and now there's a patient transport. Well, you know what? That'll have to wait. And there we go, Internet Commander arriving on scene. You are now ready. One, two, three, four. We'll grab you. Did I not see a hydrant in the area? Ah, that's a bit. That is literally the nearest one, but I'm afraid he might get heat exposure. We will try and see here. Oh, he is, but it's not critical. Get in here. we got to save the Fiat Ponto. Guys, there's a Fiat Ponto. I mean, that's like, critical. We save a Fiat Ponto. Oh, you, you've done and stood on it. You placed it on your foot, you idiot. And now you have to be really fucking, really precise for some reason to pick up these distributors. Like, see here, he's now just having a. I don't want to select. Okay, drop that. Right. Oh. It's not really playing ball now, so this may come to an end. Oh, there we go. No! Deploy your distributor, please. See, there you go. You can place it next to you. You don't have to stand on it. So, uh, that building... Oh, God, and that neighbouring building's going to be a little bit on fire if we don't act quickly. So, uh, we now have to fight to contain the fire here. Uh, what was that other call we got? We need to go in here. Guys, guys, we need to focus on containment. This is a containment situation. Uh, what we can do, though, is get you out. Get you lot on your BAs. Thank you. Oh, you've done it again. My God. What fire academy did you graduate from? The fake internet one. So you have now sorted that out. You'll need to get into this. Get you guys out of the way. I need to bring you guys in here in as much as you can anyway. Forward, forward. That'll do. One in that. You hook this hose up here. Hook that up to that thing. Uh, over here, we need to disconnect. And uh, we need to start moving some of these people out of the way. If we call in an ambulance to do so, would be helpful, I guess. Can you guys, like, try now and, like, somebody's not in it. Now way. somebody's in it, so we can move this fire appliance. Move it a bit. Transport that thing. Will this catch fire? No. So, something's worked for once. And I don't think anybody's catching fire or anything. So, it's improvement. We will get some transport going. I mean... I forgot about this one, I'll admit. Yeah, and they fucked. So, yeah, we're going to have to... I mean, we've contained the fire. You're in here. That building's not on fire anymore. Oh, yes, it is. I spoke. Why can you not put out... You? How can you not put out the house? Rubbish. Actually stressful? Yes, it is. It does have a tendency to get... Really stressful. Yeah. You water on that bit. You're over here. Yeah, that yeah, person's like dead, really, isn't it? Uh, I mean, the police incident. I mean, I think that's fucked. Oh, we got a patient transport. You know, just to put it on top. Oh, yeah, we got that person over here who's a bit dead. Oh, and the cop yeah. was standing in the street. Should probably have noticed that, shouldn't I? But down here, in terms of the house fire. Ooh, okay, all of that hedge yeah. is on fire. Ah, it's not yeah. the end of the world, but it's bloody close. So let's okay. disconnect you, get you out of the way. We need at least one person in it. We'll immediately. Immediately. Oh yes, he is. You're right. Good, spotted, and we have a police car here just doing nothing. Go, 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 go. 
Go, 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 go. And then down here. And then these cars are not catching on fire. For reasons I don't understand myself. We've called in over here. We'll wait for... And then we need to grab the suspect. He's probably... Did he just run past all of those policemen? We won't mention that again. That's not something we did. Could you drive a bit quicker? I know you've got a diesel. But go a bit quicker. No, don't reverse. Sometimes I question myself whether or not we got some decent police yeah. officers. Immediate. Go and run after the man. Confirming. You get in and drive ahead of him to cut him off. Intimidate him with the siren. Yes, he stopped. He stopped. He stopped. So punchy, punchy, punchy. Good job, constable. Well, at least one thing's going all right. Uh, down here, you are now. Yeah. We can now place you here. Motion forwards. Connect that. Get out. Get in. So what we have now, now the house is on fire again. So we need to change the way we are dealing with this. Get you out here. You can't cool that building. Um, you can put that out. Does that mean you're going to extend your ladder very, 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 very far? Yes, it is. He's extending his ladder. So get you guys just in here. Try and put out some of that. Because, oh, God, that's... Oh, God. Oh, God. Patient transfer. It's all happening in Bieberfelder. It's all happening. Just all of it. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Thank you. By the way, this is a fictional mod. It's not based on a real town in Germany. It's just a figment of somebody's imagination. Not that there's, there's anything wrong with that. They've made a bloody good mod. Um, okay, so this vehicle out here, which I intended to be backing unit only, is now actually going to be deployed in. Could you show a bit of, you know, urgency? What do we fail here? Not fail who pull glummy? Yeah, I know. Yeah. That's just the person who was a bit injured that we forgot about entirely. We will now need to prepare this. We need to get them down here to prevent it from catching other buildings and fire and that. Then go in here. Those four now got hoses. So grab fire hoses. Get you ready. Number one here. Hook yourself up, please. Run as far into their garden as possible. We don't need permission. We are the fire service. On a call, we can do this when it's, you know, serious. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Connect it, connect it, connect it. Run in there, put out all of those trees down here. We need to contain the fire. This is a matter of containment. Yeah, just... Like oh, that building's now on fire again. Put out that bit over here, put out those trees. We now got the suitably dramatic music to go with this. I looked at Mercy Planet, the mod seems... and it seems the mod is still in some work in progress. I think that's just because you know it's a mod. And as a result of that, it's just going to be a work in progress perpetually. I don't think they're going to update it. I think the last time they updated it was like 20... many years ago. <laughs> oh yes, of course! Of course! We have an unauthorized demonstration going on. Oh, where? Oh, they're there. Great. So, um, um, did, the tow trucks are called in. Didn't appear, did they? No, they didn't. Okay, let's try and risk a police officer over here. Okay, so it might have been the other car that sort of magically caught fire. Maybe that was just causing this whole incident up here. But uh, I don't know. Just just keep that guy, yep. Yeah. Off you go. Uh, it'll take a while for that police to arrive. We have contained the fire up here, though. So we can now try and focus elsewhere. Let's get you over here. Take all of this over here. Just put out all of that fire. They're arriving here. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's getting hot in here now. It's getting really fucking hot in here. And... So, you need to get out. You drop your fire hose. Is it now safe to deploy this? Let's give it a whirl, shall we? I mean, what's the worst thing that can happen? We lose another fireman. So, deploy. Yeah, 
I mean, we've basically got the fire contained. And they're doing a fairly decent job down here. Even though they're technically out of hose. So, okay, now they're not. Now that building's caught fire again. Because, you know, buildings do that. Disconnect, disconnect. We need to now sort this out again. Okay, so we've now actually overused hoses here. So we need to pick up this thing here. Move that one to pick it up, right? Hang on, could you pick... Oh, God, because somebody's using it. You can actually just reach that one there. So we'll just keep that one going. And now somebody's getting into... Oh. Right, well, I mean, everything's happening now. And, you know... It's all happening at once, so I think we'll try and clean up this incident down here. And uh, once that's done, we'll wrap it up for today, seeing as I've been going for an hour and 50 minutes. No, you're right, it's not every day you get to do that, but I think yesterday I had a fire. I don't remember where. It might have been... It might actually have been here. I parked the ladder here, and it extended all the way over here to put out some of these bushes over here. It was literally extended as far as it could possibly be. And you don't see that a lot in this game. Which is a disappointment, really, because it's bloody cool when they do that. We cleared a call. Was that what? Um, they are ready to transport this person over here. We can start that out. And that's all of the right police coming in. You guys drop that. Okay, that's actually kicking off again, so... Disconnect that. I mean, you're holding it in up here. Uh, oh, gee. So, I mean, technically, we should call in everything over there to the right, but I'm not going to bother. Because I'm not going to bother finishing it. Uh, we need this sorted out, though. Pick you up here. Um, ambulances. Uh, any available. What about here? We've got both of those here, so get them rolling in. And the right police are now beginning to arrive. Hang on. Why is there a house on fire? When did that happen? When did... What? When... What? Just bring in that dozer thing. And then we'll bring in the water can. And we'll just make them all very wet until they pass out. Because that's what happens. So bring you up here. You. I just spray water on the cunts. That's what you do, innit? So you are now all disconnected here. You... Pick up the distributor. Run as far down here as possible, if you could. Oh, you've got one of those. Oh, and now you've bugged out. I think we reached the, the point where it's all just gone a bit wrong here. Uh, everybody's now parked on top of one another here. Uh, that ambulance is trying to do whatever the bloody hell that ambulance is trying to do. Park here. Pick up the patient, please. Get you out here. We've only got one patient here, so that's all right. Stretch it, please. Thank you. Could you return back to station? And when you've stood inside a lorry. I mean, it's good you can do that, innit? There you go. So we now go. Once we've cleared up that piece of debris, we're nearly good to go. Like you, for example, pick that up. You can go. You don't even need a blocky doctor unit, do you? So you did disconnect up, here. I'm Could you reconnect up. down here and set up a distributor? We'll get yeah. three with the breathing masks on. Come on, Let's down here. It's on okay, that's as far as you go. That's all right. Don't stand on it. Thank you. On In here. On go, 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 go. Down here. Yeah, that's all right. To sort way. this out. What should we be looking at here? We're just spraying them. It's like spring break all of a sudden. Uh, you in here, hopefully you won't need a doctor either. Pick that up. Pick that up. That should be the final car. I mean, we've lost a lot of crews here. But I think we can officially wrap up this incident. And send you back as well. So I think that's cleared. Down here, we still have a bit of fire. On our way. Oh, you stopped because I selected the two that were connected up here. Can you walk? No, you're going go to go ahead. around. All right, then. Um, in here way. you go, please. 
Why would you go that way? There we go. So this is contained in here. If you just call that tree down, because that's definitely how fires work. Uh, I mean, I'm not even going to begin to try and clear that one up here. We just need to transport this final patient to hospital. Just do it on the blues. Then we send back home this police vehicle and uh, this police vehicle can go on patrol. This fire appliance can return to station. Thank you. And I think that's the traffic accident cleared. It is. And we have that person here who is dead What's and up? going to be buried at some point. Get you in that. You were just a bit stuck. They don't seem to care that much that we're putting water on them, do they? They're all holding back down here because, you know, stuff's on fire and that. If you guys all crap like those, the rest of them can go ahead and, like, smash them in the faces. Could you go ahead and throw that flashbang? Which a German person says, which sounds funny. Flashbang! Flashbang! Flashbangs. I wish there was sort of like a group attack command you could give. Like where you just like attack everybody here at once. So run it here. Try and grab. Who's got a flashbang? And yeah, now we got injured people up here. We just need to grab that. Just keep throwing flashbangs until we grab whoever's in command. Grab flashbang. Could you go up there and arrest this bloke? Yeah, it's now a massive punch party. Our police doing what our police does best. Yeah. Punch people in the faces. You've just decided to park here. Great place. Ooh. This is about as heavy traffic as I've seen. Okay. So we're now spraying water on these people. We haven't arrested anybody. And we just have a lot of injured people here. Flashbangs out. And uh, unfortunately, this won't get dealt with until that guy's nicked. And uh, we're not going to do that, basically. So I think we'll wrap it up here as we look at this riot and we remember everything that's wrong with the world. Hope you've enjoyed this stream. It's been nearly two hours. Somebody just threw a Molotov cocktail. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.